Hi guys, today we will be learning about the overview of unified functional testing tool. 12.52 is the version we are using it. Let me open the UFT first. It is always a good practice that we have to open the UFT first and then the application. Make this as a thumb rule. Since I am using a seat license, it is asking the license. So I am clicking on continue button. Now you can see the list of add-ins. In all the upcoming tutorials, we will be working either in the window or the based application. So we have to select ActiveX or Visual Basics for the window based application and a web add-in for the web based application. So the three add-ins has been selected. Click on OK button. Yes, now the UFT is opened. Like other tools, UFT also have the menu and the toolbar. Now you can see the start page tab where you can see the recently used components are test. Then you can see an another tab which explains or which gives the details about the recently added features to the present version. For example, it has the details about the better mobile testing. If you want to know more about it, just click on tell me more. It will take you to the help page where it will give the detailed explanation about the mobile testing enhancements what are all added to the present version. Similarly, it has a many features. If you get time, just glance once. And the present versions support for both the Firefox and Chrome. You can see a news feed which displays an article or a queries posted in the HP portal. Even you can post your queries or provide your solution. I'm just clicking on uh, handling dynamic windows. It is taking me to the HP portal. Someone posted a query asking help how to handle the dynamic windows and uh, we got the reply from another associate. Like this, we can also do it. Let us glance some of the menu bar option. Under file, we can see new option which is used to create a new test, nothing but an action. And uh, it is also used to create business component, new solution, function library, which is mainly used while creating the uh, framework, uh, then application area. Then second option is open. We can open all the respective file using this option. The next one is under view option or menu we can see many uft pane which i will be explaining you all with an example in upcoming session under resource this option helps us to open the object repository then alm you know alm means application lifecycle management it is a test management tool we can be able to connect it to alm using this option Now let us create a new action, file, new, click on test. You can see the types GUI test, API test, business process test, business process flow. We are going to create a new GUI test, give the file name, then uh, it shows the path in which the action will be stored if you want you can change the path just select it now the path is also mentioned this is a location in which our action has been stored just click on create button a new action will be created in the mentioned path now you can see few more uh, menu options 
has been enabled which will be explained in upcoming session for time being let me explain some important option or setting needs to be done before starting the development under file go to the setting you can see properties tab this properties tabs will display the associated add-in details just click on modify to view the what are all the add-ins we have been associated this is an another way to select our add-ins or if you want to remove or uh, we can remove it also then click on ok button the next option is run setting for example you have to create a scenario which needs to be executed several times this execution setting will be done here only if you want to execute only one uh, row what you can do is just uh, select uh, one iteration only then the second option is run on all rows uh, for example we have 100 rows in our uh, data sheet you want to execute all the 100 rows what you can do is just select the second option run on all rows uh, for example we have thousand rows of data but uh, our requirement uh, today says that we have we want to execute only 100 rows so what we can do is we can define from which row we want to execute it for example 250 to 350 rows i want to execute it just click on apply then the next option is when error occurs during the run section in case of any error comes what uft needs to do whether it should throw the pop-up message or it should proceed to the next action iteration or it should stop the execution or it should uh, proceed to the next step so when you uh, do a batch process it is always a good practice you have to select proceed to the next action iteration because if we select the pop-up message box we will uh, get the pop-up which needs to be clicked uh, which needs to be handled manually then you can see object synchronization timeout a uh, default as 20 second so the script will wait for maximum of 20 second till the page gets loaded so default time is 20 second then another important tab is resources this option is used to associate our functional library since I, we didn't create any functions so we are unable to do it in future session i will be creating you a function library and i will show you how to associate to our action click on apply ok then under tools you can see option select you can see the option window we have many tabs under the general tabs uh, startup options are displayed display add-in manager on startup you will be getting the add-in manager pop-up um, just because we have selected here display the add-in in case if you are not getting that add-in what you can do is come to this option and just check in then display the startup page on uh, startup then display warning if associated add-ins are not loaded these are all the default setting you have to select it next important one is uh, run sessions after execution the report will be auto generated so in which way we need the report either in the html format or a run result view reporter configuring it we can get it in the html format or even in pdf also we can get our output file so based on our requirement we can select it then under gui testing tab select the test runs it shows the run mode uh, it has two types one is normal mode another one is fast mode it is always a good practice that we have to select the normal mode for the execution 
now you can see uh, two important checkbox one is submit a defect to alm for each step file and uh, another one is allow other hp product to run the test and components so when you do the alm connectivity sometimes uh, it is unable to do the connection means we didn't select this particular checkbox so you must select the al allow other hp product to run the test and components in order to do the alm connectivity and uh, never select submit a defect to alm for each step fail because if you select this particular checkbox what will happen is when we do the unit testing again and again so our uh, test result it will be keep on updating to alm if gets failed so it will automatically create a defect in the alm so never select this option then folders while creating the framework we have to map or tag the folders to this particular option just clicking on plus button and uh, map what is the folder which we have created the framework then screen capture which is used to save the screenshot of the execution whether you need the screenshot for the errors alone or for uh, all the steps then you can also save the execution in the movie mode save the movie to results so what it will do is it will record the execution mode then you can see the text editor where uh, we can able to change the fonts and color of our coding after selecting it click on ok button that's the end of today's session about the overview of uft in case of any clarification please post your queries and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching